it's Allison from the Lewis Center and I'm ready to get you warmed up. So we're going to start with our feet shoulder width apart. We're going to bring the knee up and give it a little hug and we're going to alternate to each side. So today for our warm up, we're going to do each exercise for a minute. So we want to bring the knee up to at least waist high or wherever you feel comfortable with. Remember the warm up is our time to get the blood flowing, alert our body, tell them we're going to do something a little bit more strenuous here coming up. Okay, go ahead and relax your feet down. We're gonna transition into our next exercise. We're gonna do a quad stretch with an overhead reach and we're gonna alternate sides. So nice and slow, just pull that leg back as we reach with the opposite arm. You wanna make sure you keep the knee in. Don't let it go out. And as we reach up for the ceiling, one more each side, and relax the legs down. We're going to widen our stance out as far as you comfortably can, point the toes forward, and we're going to shift the weight to the side, and then over to the other side. And we're just going to go back and forth. Okay, you're going to push your hips over as far as you can. Once you feel a nice stretch, then you can return to the other side. We don't want to push it too much during our warm up. You should feel that chest up nice and proud. And back to the center, we're going to bring the feet together. We're going to walk it out, so I want you to start feet shoulder width apart. You're going to come down to the floor and you're just going to walk out into a plank. And then we're going to return back up to our standing position and then we're going to repeat. Give you a little bit different view here. Let's do one more. All right, we're warmed up and ready for our workout. Today's workout is a circuit that's going to get your heart rate up and while working your lower body. So let's get started. We're going to start 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Now we can alter this impact by just tapping out, or we can go here, your option. All right, stop. Our recovery is either going to be a jog in place or a march. Your choice. I just want you to keep moving. So we'll go 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest, and then we'll move on to the next exercise. 
I'll give you options to make it easier as well as harder. All right, next exercise, we're gonna go feet just outside the hips and we're gonna squat down and up. Okay, we wanna get deep into our squat. If we wanna make it harder, let's jump up. Jump up and touch that ceiling. You can keep with regular squats or keep jumping. Last one and recover. We're going to either jog or march. This is when you get to catch your breath, recover, so take some nice deep breaths in and then push it out. All right, next exercise, we're gonna grab our jump rope and we're gonna jump. If you want to, you can mix it up a little, switch feet, jump side to side. You can lessen the impact, making it a little more of a march. to our recovery, either that jog or that march in place, your choice. Alright, next exercise, we're going to start feet hip width apart. We're going to alternate lunges, so we're going to step out and down, and then alternate sides. As we step out, we want to drive the heel into the ground, push off the floor. That will activate all those leg muscles. If you're really advanced, you can do jump lunges here. All right, let's recover. Two more exercises to go. You're gonna need a little more space for this next exercise. We're gonna travel side to side. So I'm gonna scoot over and we're going to Step over two and squat down. So shuffle twice, touch the ground, shuffle back. The key is to get down and touch the ground. That's where the work is. Let's do one more. And now recover. All right, one more working segment. You got this. The next exercise we're going to move into is lateral lunges. So we're going to step out to the side and lunge and alternate to the other side. So we're just going back and forth. One more, and then we go back to that recovery. So this is our last recovery period. We have done one round. 
I recommend that you rewind and do this two more times. If you're advanced and have been working out a while, you can do it four more times. Your choice. Thank you, Leopards. We'll see you next week.